What's up guys, Shane Stars with Droid Moderx. Today we're going to be taking a quick look at the recently app for root users by one of my favorite all-time developers, Chainfire XDA. Many of you guys will probably be familiar with Chainfire uh, from CF Auto Root. That's one of the easiest ways to root any device while leaving it pretty much stock. But he also likes to develop applications that really just improve the overall functionality of Android. And one of those applications is recently. So if you've downloaded Lollipop, or if you've updated to Lollipop, then you have realized, or you've probably noticed, that the recent applications app, so uh, this application right here, is pretty much unusable in standard Lollipop. Now he's modified the recents with his recently application, uh, makes it much more usable. So I'll show you guys how it makes it more usable uh, in this review. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, so in stock Android, the recents button is pretty useless. Uh, basically what it does is it gives you your recent applications plus it gives you recent uh, pages so if you open up your browser it's going to give you like all your recent pages from your browser and after a day or two or three or four days it becomes just one big cluster and it is just totally unusable you're not able to really find anything and it kind of defeats the purpose i'm sure you can see the last couple of things that you used recently uh, but it, there's so many things in there and so many things in between things that are actually important. And even applications that are not running are stored in your recents menu. And there's also no way to clear them all. So the only way to clear them is just one by one swiping them out of the way. Uh, so basically it just makes the recents application a mess. But Chainfire XDA has resolved this problem with his root application recently. We'll go ahead and launch it and I'll show you guys inside the application what we have here so we'll go ahead and launch recently uh, for I believe 99 cents the paid version you can have this to launch on boot so that you don't have to turn it on every time you want to use it uh, but the first thing that it does here is you can have the clear all button so we open it up the clear all button is here and it will clear off everything so that you have nothing there you can see the clear all button really nicely there so we'll open it back up again you can set age limits so anything if you choose to set this uh, for less than a day it will clear off anything that was opened up say three hours ago anything that you opened up uh, one day ago it'll go ahead and delete that out of your recents if you wanted to leave your recents in there even longer uh, you could go up to a few weeks the entry limit allows you to set a limit as far as how many applications can be open in your recents tab uh, you can set that to no limit at all, or you can set that to one or two applications at a time. I've chosen just to leave it at one day and 24. So there's also an option here to force remove tasks. So if you have the age limit here, if it's more than a day, if you check this box, it will remove those once they've reached 24 hours. You do the same with documents. You can also enable the pro features without actually paying for the pro version. Chainfire has always been really good about releasing everything that he does uh, for free. He's not really about the money, but if you want to support him, I would suggest just going and purchasing uh, the in-app purchase. Uh, but if, if for some reason you're not able to, you can always just select the free load and this will uh, load up on boot. But anyways, guys, this is the recently application by Chainfire, which just basically makes the recents button usable once again. You will need root in order to use the recently app. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com. Follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. Thanks, guys, for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.